inside this bag is pretty much everything you can buy off the shelf at Lowe's or Home Depot for EMT conduit. If you don't know, this is a galvanized steel pipe that is generally used by electricians to run wires over long distances in both commercial and residential applications. Here at Maker Pipe, we like to use it for DIY projects, but today I'm gonna to be sharing information about everything that you can buy off the shelf at Lowe's or Home Depot. We're gonna go over some tips and tricks, some general information, and just share what these things are designed to do. Without further ado, let's jump right into it. First is this pull through box. Now, when I first saw this, I thought it was like an access panel kind of thing, but it's actually meant to be, as the name suggests, a pull through box for cables whenever you're running wires. So imagine if you had a sharp 90 degree corner like this that you were trying to run cables through, you know, if you're five foot away from where this corner would be uh, or where the wires would be going through this corner, it'd be really difficult to kind of push the wires through. So what this is designed for is basically it has the, the inlet for the, the conduit and you know, there's another, another place for kind of the other side. It has these two set screws, which we'll actually dive into set screws and compression style fittings as we move forward. But for now, it has these two set screws that cinch down on the pipe. And then, so basically what you use this for is if you're running wires through, you get to this point, you take this access panel off and the wires come out and then you're able to kind of maneuver them and achieve that 90 degree corner. So it just basically makes it easier to pull through cables uh, whenever you're working in a tight you know, corner like this. So specialty use case for that scenario, but it makes sense. Next up are these plastic insulated bushings. Now these um, are actually meant to protect the wires when you're running them through the cable. Because as I said, EMT conduit is meant to protect wires and cables over long distances. So pretty much all of these things are made for specific building codes and with the main purpose of protecting wires. So basically these just slide on the ends of conduit, just like that. So basically whenever you're running cables through, this bushing helps protect the cables and keeps it from getting caught on the edge of the conduit and then, you know, cutting into the wires or the cables. Uh, so they're really inexpensive, but they have a you know specific purpose, which is protecting the wires on the ends and making it easier to slide cables through. So EMT conduit, as you can see, it's a rigid pipe. It can be bent with a hand tool. We've actually done a video on how to do that for beginners that you can check out. But there's also a type of conduit called FMC or flexible metal conduit. And that's designed for really specific situations where you've got to make some, you know, like back to back bends or kind of get wires to a specific location that's just not really accessible with normal, you know, solid conduit like this. So what this does is it allows you to basically connect the conduit. In this case, it's half inch conduit, which goes inside here. And then again, we have another set screw, you use a screwdriver, you tighten this down. And then this other side is an adapter for flexible conduit, flexible metal conduit. So basically you do it the same way, you just put it in there, then you use the set screw, uh, or actually it clamps around the flexible conduit. And then basically this adapts between the two so you can continue your cable run and from the, the solid conduit into the flexible conduit. So really specific uh, situation. And that brings up a good point. You wanna make sure that you're paying attention to not only the type of conduit, like I said, we're, all this is for EMT conduit, and empty conduit is smooth on the end and all of these fittings and accessories are designed for that purpose. Whereas something like rigid conduit has threaded ends. So there's threaded and specific couplings and fittings and things for threaded rigid conduit. So you wanna make sure to not only get empty conduit and the appropriate accessories and fittings, but you also wanna make sure that you're matching up the size. So in this case, this is for half inch EMT conduit and then half inch flexible metal, metal conduit. Oh, speaking of which, with multiple sizes. This is a two inch fitting coupling, and we'll look more at couplings here in a minute when I find one in here, but this one is made for two inch conduit, so it just kind of goes along with the whole, make sure you get the right size pipe and the right fittings and accessories. This is an interesting one. So this is a pre-bent 90 that you can buy. It's a very short stub of conduit that's pre-bent for you. And like I said, you can bend conduit pretty easily, but if you, you know, can't make the bend or you need to use a pre-bent 90, you would use this and connect it with your conduit using a coupling and continue your run, but this time making a 90 degree that's already pre-bent for you. You can buy these in pretty much all of the available off-the-shelf conduit sizes, and it's just a pre-bent 90 that works great for making conduit bends and continuing your cable run, or you've even seen people even use it in DIY builds 
when working with maker pipe and our connector system. Now this is kind of a, a unique one as well, similar to the 90 degree bend. If you're, you're not making a bend or if you need to make a 90 degree corner, but it actually goes into an electrical box, that's where you would use a connector. And that's actually the difference between connectors and couplings. Connectors are designed to actually connect with an electrical box. So basically you have this, this one side that has a compression style fitting, and there's actually a ring on the inside that compresses as you tighten this, this nut around the fitting. And so you put the conduit in here and then you tighten this nut around the conduit. And then as you tighten it, it compresses on the conduit and secures it in place. But this other side is made for an electrical box and has a, a um, you know, threaded part here. And then it has this nut. So basically you slide this into the electrical box and then you tighten this nut and secure it in place. And so a connector is meant to connect conduit to the electrical box, whereas a coupling couples two pieces of EMT conduit, but don't worry, we'll get into that. But this specific connector is made to have a 90 degree turn into an electrical box. Instead of going straight into it with a straight connector, you have this 90 degree, and that's what that's designed for. Since we're talking about connectors, let's just talk about the straight version of that. So as that one, we saw it went 90 degrees into the electrical box, but this one is designed to go straight directly into the box. It's the same exact thing where it has the compression side for you know compressing on top of the conduit and securing it inside of the connector. And then you have the other side that secures it to an electrical box. This is just the straight version of the 90 degree version that we just looked at. And this is the same kind of thing, except it's for a larger size. This is for three quarter inch EMT conduit. But I also wanna point out a difference here You'll notice that this is more of a dull metal and it has doesn't have quite the sheen that this other one does. Whenever you find these fittings and everything off the shelf, this, this one is, this duller one is made from zinc and it's not as strong, but it is cheaper than the, the steel counterpart. But also zinc is less li likely to rust uh, before a steel coupling. So in a situation like on a coast or where there's a lot of salt, people will use zinc fittings for that scenario. And really all of these things are meant for specific situations like that. You just kind of have to follow the code and see what is recommended and what is required for those certain applications. But I just wanted to point out that you'll see the difference. Next is an accessory that we see often used in builds, but of course it's designed for EMT applications. And this is called a two hole strap. Again, you want to make sure to get the correct one for the right size pipe, the right size EMT. This is a two hole strap and basically it snaps over the conduit and then it has these tabs with holes pre-drilled in them that you can actually use to secure to a surface. So if you're doing electrical work, this is used to secure conduit um, to a wall or ceiling or a situation like that. Again, that's something you have to you know, follow the codes for. Uh, but you know, we see it used in DIY builds for attaching you know, wood uh, for shelves or desktops and things like that. And very similar to those, you have one hole straps, if I can find them in here. Here we go. This is one hole straps, or it's pretty much the same thing, except there's only one tab with a pre-drilled hole. And again, we see these used in DIY builds for desks and things, um, but of course has a specific purpose, which is attaching conduit to walls. Another accessory that you'll find, and actually brings up a good point, this is a conduit hanger strap. So basically the conduit goes inside of the hanger and then there's a clamp uh, you know you tighten this bolt and nut and it secures on the conduit and then there's a hole that allows you to drill it into a wall or ceiling it has a little bit of elevation to it and it's kind of the same thing as the one hole and two hole straps it just has you know a specific situation where you have to use it and the point i wanted to bring up with that is you'll see that all the other accessories we've looked at have been blue bags that say specifically for EMT conduit, as I mentioned earlier. But this one was kind of hiding away. This is uh, actually have a brown bag and it says accessories. And that's because it actually can be used with rigid conduit and EMT conduit. So uh, if you're looking for these kind of things off the shelf, you wanna pay attention to the things listed specifically for EMT, but you also wanna look for the accessories and those are kind of in a different section. So just keep that in mind if you're looking for these specific things in the electrical aisle. All right, next up is another connector. 
And this is very similar to what we talked about earlier, except this is the second style. So with that compression coupling or connector, I said that it had a ring on the inside that you tighten with vice grips to secure it to the conduit. But this is the other style, and this is a set screw. So basically you put the conduit in and then you tighten this, this uh, Phillips head screw into the conduit and it cinches down on the conduit. And again, this is a connector. So one side is meant for the conduit. The other side goes into an electrical box and then it has the nut, of course, to secure it to the electrical box. But the main difference between this and the other one is the type of connector. And this one is a set screw. The other one was compression. And there's a lot of debate on this as well. And really it comes down to the specific application. So these, there's a little bit of a gap around the conduit once you secure it in there. And so it's not really watertight or rain tight. Whereas the compression fittings are made specifically for wet applications because they have a tighter fit on the conduit, they keep water out and they do better at that. And that, that's something else I wanted to mention. My local Lowe's didn't have the specialized version of the connectors and couplings, but you'll see uh, a rain tight specific couplings and connectors. And if you're working in a situation uh, where it's gonna be wet and you're expecting a lot of water, you definitely wanna use the rain tight version of these connectors or couplings. And usually there's either something stamped in the metal or sometimes I've even seen they'll have a blue or black nut on the compression couplings. But that's what that's designed for. And they also have, just like in the, um, the bushings that we looked at earlier, they also have the uh, insulated connectors, which again have that plastic bushing already inside the connector, which will protect the wires when you're running through it and keep the conduit from getting messed up the same way that the plastic bushings that are sold separately do. So that's another specialized one that you'll see as well. Now this is another compression style fitting, except this time this is a coupling. So instead of it having that second side, which actually goes into electrical box, this side and the other side both compress down on the conduit and secure them together. And as the name suggests, it's a coupling. It's meant to couple two pieces of EMT conduit. If you didn't have anything there, you'd have exposed wires between the two pieces of conduit. So this basically you know, fills that space and protects the wires and allows you to keep the, the run going through it. And it still has that ring on the inside that will compress as you tighten it. And you'll use uh, channel locks or vice grips to secure these and fully tighten them around. And again, these are better suited for damp locations, but you wanna make sure that if it's gonna be a lot of water, you wanna make sure that you're using the specific rain tight compression coupling. And the other style of coupling that we've kind of already talked about is the set screw coupling. Let me see if I can find one. Here's another compression coupling. It's just a different size. And this one is steel. But you also have the set screw couplings. So again, it does the same thing. It allows you to connect two pieces of EMT conduit. But instead of having that compression ring on the inside, this actually has set screws, which senses down on the conduit. And again, this is a little bit cheaper, but it doesn't have as good of a seal and it's not as strong as a connection as the compression couplings. And again, just like everything here, it's all based on your application and the specific codes that you have to follow when doing electrical work. So that's the set screw style. And then of course we just looked at the compression style. And here we have another connector, which will go to an electrical box. This again is another type of connector meant for half inch EMT conduit. And it's, this one is steel. The other one we looked at was the zinc but it's the same thing, has the nut on one side and the threads to go into the electrical box, and the other side has the set screw for securing the conduit. Getting close to the end here. We got, this is an EMT to box pull elbow. So this is a pull elbow, very similar to the one we looked at earlier. So you can actually take off this whole outside of this elbow and use it to pull the cables through, just like we looked at with this box. This is just, of course, a more of a sleek 90 degree connector um, and, you know, used for you know, smaller bundles of wires. But you take off that panel and then the same kind of thing. You pull the cables and then route them through the 90 degree and you put that um, you know, access panel back on the outside. And then this has the set screw style, same as the other one, to secure down on the conduit, to secure the conduit in place in the corner. All right, I think we got two more things left. This is an EMT to NM coupling. So EMT conduit is all we've been talking about today, but there's also, just like we looked at with the flexible conduit, the adapters, this also has an adapter, not really an adapter, I guess, but 
basically allows you to cinch down on non-metallic sheathing uh, wires and cables. So basically you'll secure the conduit in the connector, set screw style, and then the wire goes through this little clamp here, and then you use the, the screws here to clamp down on the wires, and it basically just secures the wires in place once they're coming out of the conduit. So that's what that's specifically used for. So that's another specific solution. And last but not least is, I think so, yep, last but not least is an offset connector set screw. So when working with conduit, like I mentioned earlier, you'll have to bend in certain situations to achieve angles and route cables correctly. And another type of bend that you have to do is an offset bend, which basically the, the, the conduit goes straight in, and then it has to kind of you know offset a little bit with the box and then go into the electrical box. And you can bend those and then use you know a connector you know, you offset the bend uh, by hand with the hand bender, then go into this connector. But you can also do it with this pre-designed offset connector. So just like the other ones that we looked at, it has the threads on one side and the nut to secure it to the electrical box. And then this side has the set screw uh, coupling or connector that secures the conduit. And then you can run your cables through it, offset into the electrical box. So again, another specific application, like I said, all of the things we've looked at today are all to solve specific problems and follow the building codes. But that's all we've got. That's Like I said, that's pretty much everything you can find off the shelf at Lowe's or Home Depot. Thanks everybody for watching. Have a good one. We'll see you in the next video.